People often ask, well, how did you make it through that experience? Well, there are a lot of reasons. Some of those had to do, though, with just a mental discipline, mental exercise, reviewing our commitments. I had memorized the code of conduct, and so, and that's in the book. I'd memorized that, and so I reviewed that, knowing what I was committed to. But also, mental exercise is just to pass time and keep busy. Uh, part of that was a communication code I learned and employed, and I was the lead communicator and spent a lot of time communicating. That kept me busy, but accomplished uh, our job and helped us stay networked together. Uh, I also spent, uh, I spent six weeks as a farmer, and I, I started out with 40 acres, and I planned my farm. I would work 12 hours a day farming in my mind and I've calculated how much barbed wire I needed to fence in my pastures, and I set prices and bought, you know, bought uh, seeds and planted fields and all that sort of stuff. So at the end of six weeks, I owned just almost the whole county. I had my own railroad sidings, uh, feed mills, and it was, a, it was a fabulous experience. I just learned a lot because I tried to play it as realistic as possible. The good thing is I didn't have to pay any taxes so I could reinvest my profits and grow. <laughs> Now that made it kind of special, but that was good. I spent a month deciding what kind of lawyer I would be. So there were always projects that you came up with that kept you mentally busy. I memorized poems, a number of very long poems, and every day I would just work on more verses. I learned to speak Spanish. I memorized words that were passed through the wall to me, guys tapping or speaking through a blanket, uh, muffled as a buff muffler yelling through the wall and telling me words or later in the cell with guys who knew Spanish. I learned some German. So there was always a drive to try to achieve something and not let the day be wasted. So I'm a little bit been a little bit driven ever since because I've been trying to catch up on what I missed out on but uh, it served me well in a lot of ways. Uh, I've had to learn to tone it down a little bit because I do have family and do need leisure time but it, uh, it served me well as a good mental discipline. We also exercised. Uh, I didn't for the first few months because I was so uh, in shock and just didn't know what was happening really about physically with me. We were all recovering. But after two or three months, I realized I had to begin exercise. And I happened to see one of the senior officers through a crack in the door I saw, in the window, I saw one of the senior officers, uh, Colonel Robbie Reisner, was exercising. He'd already been there two years when I got there. And he was exercising every morning. And I said, well, if he can do it, he's a lot older than I am. I need to be doing that. So I started doing push-ups and sit-ups and running in place and walking back and forth. We would, just like the tigers in the cage, we'd walk back and forth for hours. 